Welcome back to another video with me, Alison, and today I've got two crafts for Christmas using some of the items that I bought from Timu in my last haul. So as you can see, what I've done is I've bought myself a tension rod off of Amazon, and I'm just wrapping that first garland around the tension rod, and as I'm going along, I'm using some of the branches to help secure it and I'm trying to make sure that I sort of go under and over so I'm covering all the way across. On this one I started from one end and then on, I'm going to use the second one I've got and start from the other end. Lots and lots of fluffing, fluffing it out. I'm doing this as I go just because it makes the process quicker rather than wrapping it all around and then going backwards. Sort of like keep fluffing as I can. At this point, before I put the second one on, I got the fairy lights out that I bought off of Timu. And I just started interweaving them through the garland. When I got to the middle, I wrapped it around a couple of times for security reasons. And then I continued down the branches, weaving them in and out. Um, just making sure I've got a good coverage. These were the ones that are USB. Um, and they also do come with a remote control as well, so you can turn them on and off is really handy so I'm just taking the second garland now and I've started the attachment at the other end because the garlands are just short of covering the whole pole but again I'm wrapping it around trying to hold the pole still at the same time because otherwise it just keeps rotating and it doesn't actually go under and over once I've done that and I've got most of it all the way down I again started attaching some of the leaves to the actual pole to secure it and fluffing all the way along and then I just tested the lights and this is me now desperately trying to get it to stay up for the tension to be correct this can be a little bit fiddly a little bit difficult and if it's really long it might actually be helpful to have a friend there to help you I didn't I don't like waiting I'd be here forever if I waited for my husband did some more fluffing just like adjusting it for the window where it's sitting um, that just meant like pulling different branches out, moving them in different directions. And I also wanted to look fairly even. So as you can see, I keep going back in, standing back. You take as much time as you need to, but it does always look better when you take that time to fluff out your garlands. And I think that's looking really pretty. It's almost there. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And this is then what it looks like at night time on this window really pretty it frames the window really nicely especially with those stickers which are from b&m if anybody is looking for them but yeah just a really nice addition i might still add some baubles next up we have the wreath that i got off of timu so i've fluffed it all out um i'm just finishing off some fluff in here just trying to make sure that it looks all nice and full i'm using some green sort of wire to be able to attach everything so the first thing I'm going to do is I like to put my lights on first just because I can really like bed them into the leaves and this will allow me to then build on top of that and then they'll show through some of the decorations as well. So you've, I've flipped it over, um, I've placed it in the middle or where I want the middle to be and then I'm just using this wire to go under and over, under and over, making sure that it's securing it to the metal part of the wreath and I just twist the ends together to secure it. This can be a little bit fiddly, but because the wire's green from the front, it blends really well. And you shouldn't be able to see the box once I've finished anyway. But you should still be able to reach the on and off button. I'm then just wrapping around the extra clear wire that often comes with these battery lights. Um, around the actual box itself again just trying to make sure it's completely secure and it's not going to fall off and then turn the lights on to do this because this just helps me see that I'm like spacing them better because these are just like a thin strip of LED lights unlike the ones that I used on the garland which were like sporadic anyway so I'm going in and out rather than going round and round I feel like you lose so much of the lights from going underneath so instead I'm weaving on top of the wreath itself just so that I can maximise the amount of lights I've got. And when I get finally get round to the bottom, again I'm going to wrap those lights around a couple of times securing that box a bit more. 
and I'm going to leave this little tail of it for later because I'm going to use that just to highlight the bow. I'll start just putting in the sprigs, um, ranging them in a manner that looks really pretty. Um, you can have a play with these. These ones are all from Boyd's, which is a shop in the UK. They were like 75 pence each, so really good for your budget. The bow, I think, was on offer with the two big white ones, so it was like three for two. So I have gone with quite neutral colours, quite natural things, but that's just because I want this wreath to be able to go anywhere in my house. Um, and it's sort of connecting two rooms, so I needed it to feel neutral. I'm stuffing all those extra lights underneath the actual bow itself, just to really highlight that bow, um, so that they really gives you that focal point. Um, and because the bow is made out of foam, they really shine through nicely. I then got this little pack of baubles from Asda. They again cost me like 75p because I got an offer on at the moment, all their stuff is on sale. And I'm using that wire, I'm just then attaching them all over this wreath just to fill it out more. I've got silver ones, I've got a few white ones, and there's some like metallic ones that are almost bluish. And the rooms that this wreath is going between are both different types of blues. So I quite like that little like soft hint to each room. Um, so I'm just going across now, just attaching all these baubles. There were a lot of them and they're quite small as well. The whole project, I think the two projects together probably took me in total 45 minutes. But that's just because I was doing it by myself. Um, especially with the garland, that was probably the hardest one. But yeah, I'm now attaching some ribbon at the top to hang it with and all I've done is doubled it over and I'm looping it through the metal part of the wreath again. Um, so when you double it over, I'm then going to pull that ribbon through to create like a loop to the actual thing and then I double knotted the end to give me another loop to hang it on the door hook that I've got. I'm now just using some wire to secure those sprigs to the metal so i've flipped it over now that i've got everything in place and i'm just securing everything so nothing falls out when it's in transit or when it maybe if you like shut the door too hard i don't want anything to like fall off so i'm just making sure that i've secured the ends of those branches to it and this is the final result and i really love the way that the bow glows there it's so pretty, I love the colours, I've let the ribbon hang down in the middle, really pleased.